Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm currently in my room and oh, there's some sunlight. Let me get settled. Where do I prop my phone today? It's always a mystery of where I'm gonna prop my phone up. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a day in my life because I feel like I haven't really hung out with you guys in like a little bit. But so far the plans for today are I really have to clean my room. I'm looking at my room right now and it's so messy. There's clothes everywhere. I have to help the hammies. The hammies are doing good. Um, they need their cages changed today and also just some maintenance stuff. And then I also need to, I need to edit today, but that's later. And I need to film a uh, favorite jewelry video. So those are things that I have planned for today other than just normal life stuff so I figured I'd hang out with you guys because I kind of took a mini break from YouTube so as of right now the videos on my channel are kind of scattered and like messy so I'm trying to figure that out but that'll that'll be figured out later so I just thought I'd come hang out with you guys for today so let's just go ahead and get started I should really eat breakfast even though it's it's like 2 or 3 p.m. now I woke up at 1 got makeup done and I just like was on my phone for a bit so now it's time to go get breakfast so let's go and do that very exciting but let me just show you how messy my room is this is what it's looking like there's just clothes on the floor and my dresser is just open and it's it's been a while since I've honestly cleaned my room um so let's go get breakfast first sounds like a plan kind of hungry yes so here's my breakfast my mom made me yummy breakfast as always so i'm just munching and also doing some business stuff i got some packages returned to me in the mail because of shipping problems <laughs> so um sorry to all the people who shot from my etsy and got these returned i'm shipping them back out today though puppy's cage is so clean and fish's cage is so nasty oh Hello, little man. Hello. Hello. Are you excited? Is this exciting? Are you excited? Fishy man. Fishy cheesy man. Fishy man. Fishy cheesy man. You excited? Are you excited? Ooh, so exciting. So exciting. Wow. Squishy man, where are you? Where are you gonna? Where are you gonna stay? I love him. Fish will wait here in his little <laughs> his little container. He's very confused. Now I gotta take out his stuff. I guess his wheel. So gross. Do you see that? Why are you so gross? <laughs> Gotta take out all his toys. That's his box. That was really cute when he first got it and he chewed it up. Y'all look like this. Look at this. What, what did you do? Look at it. How do you feel about it? He really likes this box though. So I guess I'll keep it, but it's not even like a box anymore. But it used to be really cute and he used to be really cute in it. I do have some new Remet boxes. So I might actually give it to them. But um, as you can see, he's, he really likes cardboard, I guess. But anyway, this little corn that he's been eating. And his giant sandbox. He has two sandboxes because he really likes sandbaths. So since I'm cleaning out his cage, I'm just gonna scoop out all the like gross stuff in his sandbox and just throw it in his cage. Fish, can you, can you not do that, please? No, 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 no. So he has two sandboxes um, because one of them's for sand baths and the other one's to potty train him, but he's not but he's not very good at it. So uh, we're trying to get to it. Puppy is potty trained, which is why her cage is so clean looking. Um, but this is for his sand baths. And then his other one is to potty train him. And so the other one, I'm just going to throw all of the sand out because it's pretty gross. And he just jumped out of a little box he was standing in. Fishy. <laughs> Fishy's been thriving lately. He's getting fat. You see how fat he is? Fishy's doing good. Um, puppy's also doing good, but she's sleeping right now, so I don't want to wake her up for no reason because she does not need her cage changed today. This is 
a little stick thing. If you followed their Instagram, you saw them eat this whole thing. Um, it's gone now, so I only keep it in there for them to chew on a bit. Alrighty, so all that's left is to just throw out all this fluff and give him new fluff, which is exciting, you know? Fish gets a new clean house. Yay! Come here. Wow, so good. Okay, so now we can put Fish's fluff in. I don't know how entertaining this all is, but um, you're hanging out with me for a day, so this is what you get. So here's Fish all alone in his little house. Um, first thing I'm gonna give him is, so I'm not sure what he's doing, but. Hi Fishy, hello Fishy. Fishy's just vibing. So Fish is going to disperse his bedding however he wants it. Usually he doesn't like too much. I've given him a lot before and he just, ends up getting really hot and sleeping in like areas with no bedding so i just don't give them too much because it's relatively hot in the area we live in so he's okay next thing i need to do is make a spot for his marble slab which he is now standing in which is not very good fishy move please move please so this is for him to help cool him down and so i'm gonna replace the sand in his sand bath thing he has two sand baths like i said um, and it's kind of annoying to pour in there, so I just kind of like try to get it in. I'm trying not to spill it. I try to put a generous amount, but he kicks a lot of the sand out of the sand bath, which is why it sits on his marble slab. And then the big one, I don't think he needs any more, but I will just give him a little bit so that it's comfortable. But this one stays pretty clean, so no need to worry about this one. So now I gotta make a room for- he's already moving his house around. That usually stays there. But now I gotta make a room for a sand bath, which I've been putting just like a little bit farther away from it. Not really, he's already making a mess with his food. Oh, fishy. Very curious. He sees it. Oh, he's already kicking all of it out. Do you see that? I love that. Wow. <laughs> Let's move the marble slab there. It kind of catches some of it or it goes in there and then he doesn't have to like step in it, but that's okay. Even though I just, I just cleaned it. That's, that's okay. That's okay. I guess that's okay. Fishy. Wanna see this one? His little house goes here. All of his little toys kind of have a place to go. This is, is however, just throwing whatever he wants. This is a little treat bowl that I'm gonna put here next to his food bowl that I made in high school. That'll go there, that's his little food area. I try to keep it away from the sand, but obviously there's a lot of sand, so. He's pretty good about keeping the sand in this box though, as you can see. And he has a stick for now, I guess. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. I'm gonna keep it for a little bit more. They're gross. So every once in a while I gotta go wash out their wheels. But here's Fish's blue wheel. And he's doing something weird. And this one's puppies. And her cage is pretty clean, so I don't even have to clean today. She's in here. Um, I don't think she wants to come outside right now. So maybe we'll see her later today. But here they are. Everything's clean now. Oh, how could I forget Fish's amazing box? Ooh, puppy! Are you awake now? Hello! No, no, don't bite me. Oh. <laughs> She's trying to take me in her house. No, I don't fit in there. Hi, puppy. See you later. Oh, 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 I can't come in here. I can't, I can't fit in there. Goodbye, Hemis. They are now situated. Okay, so now I want to clean my room so that I, oh, if you hear a fan, uh, I have a fan on my desk. But I really need to clean my room because I want to film that video I was talking about, my favorite jewelry video before the sun goes down because the sun is basically my main source of lighting so that's what we're gonna do right now i'm gonna put you here again because last time i put you here it seemed like a pretty good spot do i kind of have a headache today it is not very cool um anyway i'm currently sitting on a pillow so this has to go on my bed and then i have i need a trash can i need a trash bag i have a bunch of yugi me bags currently i'm gonna use one of these as a trash bag i have a bunch of these because they sent me a package lately 
Um, and actually, I'm going to use the bag that they sent me everything in as a trash bag. And I don't know what to do with all of these bags other than to reuse and recycle them, so I guess I will keep them for now. But there's going to be that video coming out soon where I review the clothes, which is very, very exciting. I got a bunch of new cute clothes from them. Figure this out first because it's really ugly to look at in the background. Okay, cool. I have a lot of clothes currently, as you can probably tell from the laundry. Most of the stuff that I need to clean, honestly, is just stuff that's sitting on my floor right now. This is clothes. I have trash and I just have a bunch of jewelry that's just like not in the right place, which is kind of annoying because I take pride in where I put my jewelry, but. So a little change of scenery. Um, My desk will perpetually be messy, so I honestly don't care much about cleaning that, but I have a lot of belts and handkerchiefs and stuff that are on the floor that I've been wearing lately. So those just need to go back in a drawer. And now we are to the area of on top of my dresser. So this is the area on top of my dresser and it's very messy as you can tell, but it's actually really important that it stays clean because this is where all my jewelry goes, this is where all pretty much everything goes. So I really need to clean it. So first thing, this bow needs to go in there. <laughs> so because this area is so important to me, I wanna keep it clean, obviously. So there are many things that go in certain places. This is my box of cute hair things. So I'm going to put this guy in here. I have these bobby pin things that I use when I put my hair in a bun, and I don't know what else is here that needs to go in there. I think that might be it. This is a box of just trash. I don't know why this is here. And I've been meaning to clear this area off for a while. I wish there was a better angle to like show you the stuff. I guess that's kind of low key a better angle, right? I got these cute hoops from Target recently. I think they're super cute. They're a little, not the best quality I've ever seen of hoops, but they definitely get the job done and they have little diamonds on them. But you guys will see this in my favorites video, I'm sure of. Yes, I also want to pick out the jewelry that I'm going to use for my favorites video because that's important, obviously. I have these belly button rings that I just kind of want to get rid of the packaging for. Let me move this stuff. Um, this is my container of rings that I like, but they're not like my all time favorites. And then this is my favorite, favorite rings like ever on this planet. And then I have some heart hoops um, that I've been putting in my, I've been putting in my box of hoop earrings specifically. So these go in here um other heart hoops i have some star hoops as well this jewelry section has been a mess lately because i've honestly been going out quite a bit so i haven't really been super um organized with my jewelry and a lot of times when i get back home and i have a bunch of stuff on because i usually have like a bunch of stuff on i just take it all off and sometimes i like throw it on my bed or sometimes i throw it here and it's really bad because i don't want to lose anything um so yeah <laughs> I have these earrings. These are handcuff earrings. These are my absolute favorites. And my favorite jewelry of all time goes in this Louis Vuitton box. Uh, so I need to figure out where the pair is because these are from China. A lot of my favorite jewelry is from China, so I don't want to lose them because I would not be able to buy them again. I want to go through this box and make sure everything's organized. As you can see, these are also another pair of earrings that I really, really like. Probably seen them in a couple videos, but they're these hoops with- Can you tell I like hoops? Um, they're these hoops with little safety pins on the end. I'm just going to put these back on their little thing. <laughs> I like to keep these when I like the brand that they're from so that if I ever run into that brand again, I'll remember that I really like the jewelry from there. This is my little thing from college. Um, I just keep them like this because they're easier to store in college, so I don't really know how else to store them here. But these should be honestly going on a wall. And then I have another one that I will just hang right next to it. I don't like to hang things on my wall too much anymore because I don't live at home anymore. So when I go back to school, I'm inevitably have, gonna have to take all of it off, which is really annoying and irritating. But you know, it is what it is. I also have some loose earrings in here that are just like my favorite, favorite earrings. So yeah, but they stay in this box for the most part. I currently have a bunch of earrings that are mismatched with their homes. So I have this one heart earring that's been sitting here for a while. They normally sit here. But the other one I took off recently to wear in a mismatch set because lately I've been mixing and matching my jewelry a lot. So they get kind of scrambled all over the place. And then I have these two. They remind me of Sailor Moon. They have moons and stars and stuff and they're very, very cute. I also have these little bobble guys that also go in there. I actually want to transfer some of the stuff into this cup I have here. That's actually really cute. It's a cacao talk cup and it has these little heart swirlies and I love them. I want to put most of my clips 
and bobby pins in there because that's where I had them before and I'm not sure how they kind of migrated to the other direction. I think they just did because I moved for college. They're going, but I have these pins that say drip. I have two of those. And I think that's everything. So I want to show you guys, I have this bag of scrunchies that my boyfriend got me for my birthday because I said I wanted a lot of scrunchies. So he got me every single color possibly imaginable. And there's a lot of cute pastel ones too, but I already took them out. So I need a home for these. So I don't know where I'm gonna put them. And also, I just wanna show you this. These are cute little bell bags from Animal Crossing. My whole birthday was Animal Crossing themed, which was really, really cute. I need to find a place, find a home for these scrunchies. So yeah. Okay, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have a lot of jewelry on right now because I just did a whole little lookbook situation. Time to take off everything. Well, this has been staying on. It just kind of like hides in my shirt, but not really intentionally. It just happens. But you know how I just cleaned up all of my jewelry? Well, guess who just messed up all of it already? I'm gonna take off these earrings. I'm gonna take off all my earrings actually, which I don't normally do, but my ears are very irritated now from changing out all these earrings so much. So I'm going to take all of them out and give them a little bit of a rest. I took out all my earrings, which doesn't really ever happen. I'll leave in that one because that one almost never comes out. I'm going to put all my jewelry back where it belongs. All right, so now I have a video to edit for tonight, but I wanted to show you guys how the cleaning ended up going. Um, and I think it went, it went, it, it went. This is what my dresser now looks like. It's still a little bit more messy than I would like it to be, but it's getting there. Here's a little, little Care Bear that my best friend got me for my birthday. So he just sits here. Um, my jewelry, like I said, this is my favorite ones and these are the less favorite ones. And then here are my hair ties and clippies and all those things like that. I have more in there that are bigger and then I have um, pins and stuff in there. And then here I organize, I have all my Pucky Babies. Um, I don't know if you guys know what Pucky Babies are, but they're like these blind boxes. And I absolutely love Pucky Babies and I really want more, but I've yet to get more. But here's my collection, as you can see. And I also put my little finals project here because honestly, they were pretty inspired by my collection of Pucky Babies because as you can see, there's like a circus theme one i have another one that's a clown this guy didn't inspire him but they really give me the same vibes so yeah and he is just really really cute so as you can see i got this little display stand for all of them and obviously they're not all here there's one two three four five there's five of them here the other one is sitting on my bedside table right there and then the last one is downstairs and like i said that one's just never going to be on camera so it's a mystery but what am i going to do now Film my video, did the hammies. Oh, I have to package stuff. So today I'm going to package a lot of things to go out for my Etsy shop. So let's go downstairs and do that. So the lighting's kind of bad right now because it's getting later, but as you can see, here are all of my little creations that I put up to my Etsy shop and they are getting packaged today. Very exciting. A lot of these Pokemon guys got sold, which is really, really cool. Fish is awake again. Hi, Fish. Fish is trying to do some running. It's a sand time. Ooh, what a good hole. Wow. Trying to get the best lighting possible for you guys. But yeah, as you can see, Fish likes to roll in the sand bath a lot. All of these little shaker guys are going out today. I'm going to show you all. So I made six Pokemon shakers um, because I didn't think they were going to sell as well as they did but they sold really, really well. So I'm going to be making more of these, but this is the Sable Eye one. As you can see, I also have a Poliwag, very cute. This one is a Wulu, but this one's a keychain. And the keychains come with a little ditto guy on there. But as you can see, the stuff in there moves, very cute. I have a Duskull, also does that. And then I have a Clefairy. And the Clefairy, I really like this Clefairy a lot. It was hard to part with. And there's also super cute star holographic stuff in the back. But um, I love the sparkles that were used in this one a lot. And I think this is going to 
a girl named Catherine who runs my fan page on Instagram. So Catherine, I'm really glad this is going to you because I love this one. So I'm glad it's going to you. Yeah, I'm going to be packaging these today. I also have this one, which is, um, I think it's an Alolan Sand True. I believe, and I showed you guys these. But I also made a bunch of these little whale shakers, um, Jinbei San. You guys know who he is, he's a Sanex character. Um, but I made a bunch of these, and these are also gonna go out today. This one has a bell on it, so that's why it's kind of loud. That one moves, they all move. But yeah, so we're gonna package these and send them out today. So these guys look like this, and if you wanna get one, you can go to my Etsy shop that's in my description below and see what's in stock on my shop. I've been making a lot of resin guys lately. And so these are all super cute, the sand true one. And they all come with little ditto guys if they're a keychain. So the Lulu one also has a keychain. And here is the Polywag one that I put a lot of glitter in. So all the glitter on the screen there is also going to settle. It just takes much longer because it's glitter. And this is the Sableye one. It has little purple stars in it that I really, really like. And okay, I'm currently sitting on the floor because I don't know. I don't normally package things while sitting on the floor, but you know, that's what we're doing today. <laughs> I want a drink. It's been an exhausting day, I must say. I didn't package everything I need to package because I'm feeling a bit tired, so I'm not gonna do everything I need to today. I might do some later tonight or tomorrow, but I did all the ones I could manage to. So, oh, I forgot the stickers. I need to get my stickers. Okay, I got them. And so um, here's the process of what happens when you buy something from my shop. So that's very exciting. I get to show you guys how I package things. I have a couple of organza bags that are already stuffed with fluffing so that I don't have to do it all the time when I'm running low because I haven't gotten around to doing it in a while. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, Lisa Maria, from Austria, all the way from Austria, ordered one of these Jumbo Lemon Heavy keychains that I love. I love these guys. And also one of the last two frog pins. The frog pins are now officially sold out. So I'm sorry to everyone who wanted one and wasn't able to get one. Maybe they'll come back in stock, probably not. But if you guys are looking for the Lemon Heavy keychain, that is still on my Etsy. My Etsy will be linked below. I put in this guy and then grab, I'm gonna pull out a couple of these. Grab a sticker. Um, I like giving stickers because stickers are fun. I have written a lot of notes. I was waiting for the impending chaos of packing orders for this Etsy update. So yeah, rip this guy off. This one is an international orders. So I will not be putting stamps on this one. That one will do custom stuff. Next one is Shelby from Georgia, very, very nearby. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm from Georgia. I live in Georgia. I'm in Georgia right now, so shipping is gonna be really fast to Shelby. This is one of the peach keychains. I think these guys are so cute. I have a bunch of them on the table, like right now, but like they're little peaches and they have little lives. I guess this one's doing her skin routine. I think they're so cute. Put him in a bag. I'll put him in this one. I don't want to put him in a purple one. We're gonna take some of this pink fluff and we're gonna put it in this purple bag so that this can happen. I try to like custom match these sometimes to the orders because I kind of want them to look aesthetic when you get them. This guy is gonna go in here for Shelby. Hope the people who ordered stuff are watching this because that'd be really cool. Um, and I'm sorry if I didn't get to your order today. It happens but I will get to it tomorrow or the next day. Candy and then a note. Take this guy off seal him in and then Shelby needs some stamps. Um, next one is, see, we'll do this one, for Druana. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but she bought one of these cute little peach babies. I think they're so cute. They have a little bell on them. I have a bunch of these, so these are also still on my Etsy if you guys want one. They were pretty popular. Just getting this peach baby and then this note and candy. So packaging these is honestly really enjoyable for me. I kind of love packaging orders. Something about it is very like satisfying. Randy bought three of these girlfriend worm charms, which I thought were <laughs> so cute. I had to make these. So I don't know if you guys have seen, well, first of all, they look like this. It's just a little worm guy. And then on the back it says, love me. And there's like a little angry face. If you guys have seen the TikTok 
I don't know if it's really a trend on TikTok. It was just kind of like a, a like a joke saying thing in general, where it was like, girlfriends ask their boyfriends, would you still love me if I was a worm? And I've been asking this question forever just because I think it's so funny. And they're always like, yes, I would. Well, now they can prove it. You can buy one of these worm guys. And I also made them into earrings. Someone bought them as earrings, but you can buy them and then see how nicely your boyfriend treats you as a worm because they better be taking me everywhere because if not, I'm gonna be mad because no, you wouldn't love me if I was a worm and you're lying to me. Let's start a fight. Those guys are on my Etsy if you feel like buying one of those um, just for funds. So Randy is getting three of them, which I thought was really cute. Next is Joyce from Texas got these worm earrings these worm earrings which i thought were so cute so very excited i'm gonna put this one in this pink guy because i'd like everything pink to be together um but yeah my etsy shop and my youtube is pretty much all i've been working on this quarantine except i haven't really been working on youtube lately but i'm trying to get back into it life just kind of got in the way for a bit but you know we are making our way back making our way downtown Danielle ordered a little lemon guy. Very exciting. Little lemon head. Seal him up. Whoop. Beatriz from California. She got the last frog head guy and also one of my little resin keychains, um, which was really exciting. I've been trying to figure out resin in case you guys haven't noticed by my Instagram stories and I'm not the best at it, but it's a learning curve. Put them in here. Whoop. And this is going to Kathleen, who ordered this little guy, one of the little whale resin guys. Very exciting. So I need to put him in a bag. So I'm going to use some of this green fluff that I haven't started using yet. Kind of thought it'd be cute with the purple. For the resin ones, I'm not going to use any fluff just because I think they look more aesthetic just in this bag by itself. And I don't think they really need it. And so the last one I'm going to do today is to Jessica, who ordered this guy. And... Um, same thing. I'm going to just put this in a bag. That keychain part hanging out because it was getting a little bulky in the bag. I don't want it to get damaged because it was bulky. And so now that I have that done, lastly, I'm going to have to repackage a couple of these that came back to me in the mail because of COVID um, messing up this stuff. But I'm going to figure that out today. So yeah that's the uh, adventures of packing things for etsy i hate when this happens but other than that i'm really glad that you guys are able to buy some of my art and support me so thank you all for everyone who did um if you want to check out my etsy it's in my description like i said so yeah or you can look up tiffany on etsy and okay so i just did some more shipping stuff i got my drink and puppy is awake though She's very lazy today, but she is awake. I'm supposed to be getting a package today, so we can see if that's here. If I get it, then I'm able to organize my Pokemon cards. I'm using to make these little shaker guys, so hopefully that's here. Kind of too lazy to go check though. Will you go check for me? So what I got in the mail was this guy. It's a binder for your cards. Um which my boyfriend also has one, but I wanted to get one for my Pokemon cards, even though my Pokemon cards are kind of useless. Um, other than that, they're really cute, but hey, that's what matters to me. So here's a little tour of the cards I currently have in it. And I try to organize them so they look kind of aesthetic in here. As you can see, it's like my green page with bugs and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just something i wanted because i have so many cards and i don't like keeping them in a stack i also have my pucky baby cards in here uh back here pucky baby and then my really pretty ones are in the back and they're shiny as you can see maybe can you see they're sparkly and then this page wow look at Look at those! They don't really show up on camera very well, but I promise you they're like holographic and sparkly and super cool. So, yeah! So exciting. I need to put stickers on the front. I've yet to get to that. Ice cream time! I have vanilla from Hagen dazs So this is how I'm gonna end the night. I will see you guys in the next one. Stay hydrated, take a nap. I will see you when I see you. Bye!
um 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 um